Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on the subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to tell you that two tables we generally use for this output types and all, but little confusion will be there, which table for what purpose. For example, if you see NACH, NACH is for the detailed output data. It means if you are maintaining any condition record, like if you are maintaining with uh, NACE transaction, right? NACE transaction, you are maintaining certain combinations like PO output type should be triggered for the combination of purchasing organization and uh, PO document type or purchasing organization plus vendor combination. So all these kind of condition records, output condition records, what you are going to maintain, all the information will be stored in NACH. If, this, if you see this number of entries of NACH in this ID system, 830. Okay. So NACH, if you see the how the output looks like, the condition record number, which was generated during maintenance of condition record, when it was created, okay. So maybe you can see something. So when it was created and what are the uh, condition table, okay, and the application, what is the condition type okay. and what kind of uh, details if you see here. So what kind of uh, details you can see. And also one more important thing, the type, okay. see here, this is the main important one, whether it is EF means purchase order, MR means invoice verification, ME means inventory management, okay. the application type. So all these are condition records, which you are going to maintain in NACA transaction for your simple understanding. What is the other table, NAST? This is the message status. It will go to the transaction level. It will go to that respect to maintaining of the data. If you see here, NAST has 44,000 plus entries. So if you are creating a purchase order, there is a message type will be triggered at the header, right? So once you save the purchase order, that message details are stored in this NAST. So NAST is like a transaction data, regular transaction. There will be thousands of purchase orders, thousands of sales orders, and um, thousands of material documents. So NAST have 44,000 of entries. Okay, so NACH is a condition output condition record. It can be available in tens to hundreds. I hope today you got an idea about NACH and NEST. Open your system, whether it is an IDA system or your uh, real time system of quality or uh, production, whatever you have, you can just verify the number of entries uh, in NACH and NEST, and you can go to NACE and maintain how the entries are getting stored in the system once you save. A condition record. I hope this video will be helpful for you if you practice more about NACH and NAST entries and compare and understand it. Hit like button before you leave. Thanks for watching.